All right, so because of who I am as a person, I have gotten a month behind on battle boxes. So this month, we have to unbox two battle boxes at the same time. But before we do that, this video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly subscription service. Each box is only $45, but it is guaranteed to have at least $70 worth of product in each box. But what sets Bespoke Post apart from a typical subscription service is that typically if you sign up for a box, each month you get a box and whatever's in the box is what you get. If you don't like it or you can't use it, too bad, you're stuck with it. But with Bespoke Post, you can go on the website and you can see all of the boxes and all the different categories. So say this month you want what's in this box, but then next month you don't like what's in this box, you want what's in this box. You can just switch boxes at any time and then say the next month you don't like what's in any of these boxes, you can just skip that month. So you're not tied down to $45 every single month, no matter what it is. So from a customer's perspective, it's a really, really nice experience. So let's open some of these boxes and give you some examples of what they have. So we're gonna start off with this one, because it's the biggest one. This one is called the Weekender. And this month, it happens to have a big weekend bag. It's very nice, it's made of I honestly don't know what material this is made out of, but it's leather and some type of tart material. This thing would, looks like it would last a lifetime. This is a very nice bag and obviously will be good for a weekend. Next, we have this box. This one is called the Terra Kit. This one has this in it, which is like a gardening multi-tool. It has a nice concave blade, so you can use it like a shovel. It has this edge like that you can use like a saw. It has a knife edge. It also has a bottle opener on the bottom. And it's also really well made. It has a nice sheath, nice wood handle. It's really nice. This kit also comes with a bar of, <laughs> a bar of soap. Oh, a bar of detox scrub gold moss with, and activated charcoal soap. And it actually smells really, really good. It also comes with something that I never even knew that I needed, this little thing, which this, and no, it's not just something to annoy people with, this is a songbird call. This is so that you can talk to birds. If you could just get it just right. I mean, who doesn't want to talk to birds? So that's pretty cool. And last but not least, we have my favorite box. This is called the Deploy Kit. This one, it has a nice little keychain in it with a bunch of different very useful tools. It has a little, little carabiner clip, has a Phillips and flathead screwdriver, both extremely useful, has a can opener slash bottle opener, has a little pry bar on it, but then it also has this, which some of you already know what this is. This is a little tiny, come on, it's a little tiny lighter. How cool is that? But that is not even the best part of this kit. It also has a pair of tweezers. It's also very cool. But then my favorite thing in the entire kit, and I wish I would have had one of these sooner. This, you unscrew the cap here, dump those things out, screw these into here, and then what you have is a miniature grappling hook. Now this is, I don't know what I would use, what I'm going to use this for, but it's so cool. And I wish that I had this. If you guys remember back, I filmed a video where my drone got stuck on the neighbor's roof. For stuff like that, this would be perfect. Or if you had something stuck in a tree or whatever, just anything you wanted to get down, this would be perfect for that. I don't know why I think this is so cool, but I think this thing is awesome. So if you're interested in any of these boxes, you can go to the link in the top of my description and use code TYLER20 and you will get 20% off your first box. All right, let's see what's in these battle boxes. This one, we've got a travel mug and it's got uh, it's got one of these little doodad buttons so that way like the liquid won't come out unless you like push the button. Let's see if that works real fast. Oh, there's papers in there. Who puts papers on a water bottle? You don't drink papers. All right, let's see. Seems to work pretty good. 
surprisingly. Then we got some skin barrier ointment. Prevents or soothes chafing and blisters during ruck. I don't know what ruck means. Amphibious operations and all other imagined misery. Isn't amphibious like frogs and stuff? All right, so next we got a cypher bandana. What are we doing? Some type of ritual? Place your signal mirror under your aiming eye. Form a V for sighting with your free hand. Align your target point up between. What? Is this some type of ritual? Are we like summoning somebody? I mean, that's cool. <laughs> if, you, if you know how to use it. We've got two knives. Oh, this one's like, it's got like a 3D printed handle. That's pretty cool. Seems pretty sharp too. I like that. It's a pretty nice small package. Oh, I guess we can, we'll use this knife to open this knife. Oh, this knife. This one feels really nice. Nice little Smith & Wesson. So, let's see, what is this? Rope Reimagined. Extreme Ultimate Tensile Strength, 1100 pounds. Oh! Oh, that's actually cool. So this is like a canister. Yeah, this is just a, a canister with a, a spool of rope into it. And then this is a cutter. So you can pull out how much rope you need and then bring it around here. I wouldn't recommend cutting it like that, but then you can just cut it off. An 1100 pound tensile strength? That's actually pretty cool. That's something that would be extremely useful to like throw in the back of a truck or in a backpack or something. That is really cool. I like that. All right, next we've got Solo... <laughs> I don't know why I said that so weird. Solo monocular. A cleaning cloth. Oh, jeez. Gotta focus it. Oh, so this is literally just a... a binocular, but, uh... Just one. Guess obviously that's why they call it a solo binocular. I'm sure that could be useful. So that is what is in that box. All right, let's see what's in this box. This one. Don't need that. Oh, another knife. Oh, that's a that's a pretty unique blade shape. I've never really seen one like that. Nano Striker XL Ferrocene Rod Ultra Portable. All right, A10 adapt wallet, rail system, mil spec bolts. I don't know, we'll have to look for that. Uh, durable water repellent. Definitely be testing that out. Micro bend. Oh, this is like to like close cuts, but it's got, I'll have to get a close up of that. It's got like two metal spikes that dig into your skin to like pull a cut together. You can see there, you can see the two, you can see the two little spikes that dig into your skin and then pull, and I guess you just use this to kind of like pull the cut together or whatever. So that's kind of something that, <laughs> that you hope you never have to use. Next, we've got some Hema Fiber Technology. What? This looks like a, this feels like a scrub pad, like for doing dishes. Sterile, well, it's not sterile anymore. For temporary external use to control bleeding. Oh, so this is like, if you got like a cut, you can like hold this on your cut. Even though it, you could probably do dishes with this too. So I guess if you're not bleeding out, you can do your dishes. And then last we have Rip Pack. Powder activates without water. Clean your teeth anytime, anywhere. What is this? Oh, is this, this is supposed to be like a, like a mouthwash or something? Oh, it's got little, these little tiny packets. Oh, I did this all wrong. Pour the powder in your mouth. Yeah, it like foams up. It's minty, but it's like foamy. I feel like I got rabies or something. I gotta spit this out. Yeah, I don't know about that. That was a that was a weird experience. It like it, it's so as soon as it hits your mouth, it like instantly starts foaming up like an al like an Alka Seltzer or something. It's minty. I don't know that it feels clean. I guess it works. Sure. So let's check out this fire starter. Okay, it comes with a piece of string. 
my mouth is still like foaming up from that stuff. Jeez. What's happening here? What? Is this just supposed to go here? Best pair of seam rod, huh? Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. You can make a fire with that. To be honest, it's not like that great, but I mean, you could do something with it. So let's check out this wallet. See what this is about. Comes with a little handle-like thing. I don't, I don't fully understand what's happening here. Oh, I see. So it takes a so you can slide your card in and out. I think you're supposed to put like a driver's license or something here. And then there's a spot on the back. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this thing. So you can put one card in the back, and then it just kind of rattles there. There's no place to put money. Yeah, it shows that this front slot is for your ID, then this back slot is supposed to be for credit cards. And it only holds four credit cards. And it's a pain to get in. Definitely not a fan of that. All right, now we're gonna test out this waterproof spray or water repellent. We probably should be doing this on like a piece of clothing or something like that. But instead, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna waterproof a piece of bread because I have done this before with different waterproofing stuff and I just, just want to see if it'll work. This does say that you are supposed to uh, spray it on a piece of clothing and then put it in the dryer or let it dry for 48 hours. Uh, I don't have 48 hours, so our results, I guess, will vary. I'm gonna uh, let it dry for maybe like an hour, maybe two hours, something like that, and we'll see. So let's just soak our piece of bread down. That should be. Come back in a couple hours, and we'll see if it's waterproof. All right, so it's been uh, about three hours or so that we've, I've let this waterproof spray dry on this piece of bread. So now is the moment of truth. Will that spray waterproof a piece of bread? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> not really. It's kind of crunchy because I had it like in front of a heater, so it's kind of dried out a little bit. Mmm. That still absor absorbs a lot of water. To be fair, I didn't do it by the instructions, and it also doesn't say that you can waterproof a piece of bread. I guess if you get this, try to waterproof your clothes, not your food. So, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.